Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shay. Today I will be sharing with you how to make a uh, 6 to 12 months uh, mermaid tail. So the yarn that I'm using is a Bernat Pop. Uh, it is a acrylic lightweight yarn. It's a size 4 and the recommended hook is a 5mm. So I, ha I have my 5 Point zero millimeter crochet hook here. I have my pair of scissors, my yarn needle, and I have some pearls here, which I will be using uh, for decoration purposes when I'm making the bra for the the uh, mermaid. So I want this project to look exactly like what you would picture when you're watching like the Little Mermaid, and you see that she's wearing her bra and she has a little thing on her head maybe a little flower i think she have or a starfish but i will be making something uh to complement the tail so let's jump in the video so to begin we will make a magic ring insert your hook pull up the loop and then you're going to chain two one two and then you're going to make 12 double crochet in your ring here so that's one two three so continue doing your 12 and I'll meet you back when I'm at my 12. So now I am at the end of my 12 double crochets and I'm just going to pull the tail here to pull it together and I'm going to slip stitch in the chain two. And then I'm going to chain two. And in all the stitches around, you're going to put two double crochets in each stitches. So you should have a count of 12 once you are finished. So that's my first one there. And my second. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. So now I am at the end of row two and I'm just going to slip stitch here. Chain two. And for row three. I am going to make one double crochet here and one double crochet here. So for row two, we had a count of 24. So moving on to row three, you will have a count of 32. So that's one, two, double crochets and then you'll be doing an increase so two double crochet in the same stitch and then in the next one and the next one and the next stitch two double crochets in the same stitch here so follow that same sequence and I will be back with you when I'm done with row three. So remember, two double crochet, two double crochets in two separate stitches, then two double crochets in one stitch, then go around. So now I am at the end of row three, and I'm gonna slip stitch here. chain two one two and I have a total of 32 stitches 
So to begin row four, you're going to make three double crochets in each stitch. So one here, one here, and one here. And in the fourth one, you're going to do an increase where you will put two double crochet in that stitch. So one. In the next stitch, two. And in the next stitch, three. And in the fourth stitch, you're going to put two double crochet in that stitch. And then one again, two, and three. And then in the fourth one, you're going to put your increase. So continue that same sequence and I'll meet back up with you when I'm at the end of this round. So now I am at the end of row four. I'm just going to slip stitch here. And I have a total of 40 stitches or 40 double crochets. So I'm chaining two, so I chain one before and then two. So to begin row five, you will go four sets of double crochet and then an increase. So one, two, three, four, and then an increase here. So you will do two double crochet in the same stitch. Follow the same sequence until you get to the end and I will show you what to do next. So now I am at the end of row five. I'm gonna slip stitch here. And I'm gonna chain one. So now we will be making our shell going onward. So chain your one and then skip three stitches. So one, two, three. And in the fourth one, you're going to make your first shell. So one, two, three chain one and in the same space you're going to make three more sets of double crochets and then you're going to count one two and in the third you're going to make one single crochet and your shell is now completed. So moving onwards to the other shell, you're going to count one, two, and in the third, you're going to make your next shell. So you're just going to continue this same sequence until I reach to the end, and I'll be back with you. So now I am at the end of row six here. And if you notice, we have two uh, stitches left. What you would do is this chain one here. You will make a slip stitch in that stitch to complete. Now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four in that same stitch there you're gonna make another double crochet here or i should say you're gonna make a double crochet here
So that's our first B. Then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And in the single crochet here, you're going to make one double crochet. chain one and then you're going to make another double crochet in the same place and that is our second V you're going to chain five one two three four five and in the next single crochet there you're going to make the same V just gonna go in between okay that's one and then chain one and in the same place you're going to make another one. So that's our next V. So follow that same sequence right around and I will meet you at the end of row seven. So now I am at the end of row seven and I'm going to slip stitch here. Chain one. And you're going to start your first shell in this V here. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your loop, make your first double crochet. So that's one, two, three. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to work another set of double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. And in this space, you're just going to make one single crochet. And your first shell is completed. And then you're going to do the same for your second shell. One, and then in the next space here, you're going to make your single crochet. So that's your shell completed. So the second shell is now there so i'm gonna finish doing the remaining shell so continue doing the same thing and i'll meet you here so now i am at the end of row eight and what you will do is you will insert your hook here you will pull up a loop and then you will insert in the chain one here, pull up a loop again, and then you're going to pull through the next two loops here. And that's how we're going to close row eight. So I'm just going to show you again. So insert pull up your loop then in the chain one space here at the beginning you're going to insert your hook there pull up another loop now you have two loops three loops on the hook you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all loops there 
and now you're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. And in the space here, you're gonna insert your hook, so yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your loop, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over, pull through the next two. So that's our first V. So we're repeating what we did in row seven. And then you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And here, yarn over, insert the hook, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through, chain one, yarn over, insert your hook in the same space, pull up your loop. And that's your second V. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And you're just gonna continue doing the same thing. So you're making your Vs now for your next round. So once I'm at the end, I will show you what to do next. So now I am at the end of row nine and you're just going to slip stitch in the third stitch. So one, two, three. So you're going to insert it here. And you're just going to continue doing the same thing as we did before previously. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to continue working the same sequence until your work reach about uh, um, about 18 inches long. And then I'll be back with you then to show you how to finish off your work. And then we can move on to the fin part of the, the tail. So I'll see you then. So guys, I have now reached my 18 inches and I will be measuring so you can see. So there it is. Okay, so that's my 18 inches long and that 18 inches is 27 uh, rows up. So what we're gonna do for your 28 row, you're going to chain two and you're going to do uh, half double crochets in each stitches over and when you reach here, you're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your needle here in this first stitch here. So that's your first half double crochet. And in the center here, you're going to put insert. Sorry. Then you're going to make your next half double crochet. Now you're in the center here, you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert, pull up your loop, yarn over and make your double crochet and then in this loop here, you're going to make a half double crochet and then you're going to continue making half double crochets right around. So the only time you are going to change is when you reach here, you're going to make 
a double crochet so that it can meet up to the level of the shell here. So this is how it should look. And when you reach to the end here, you can make a slip stitch in this second stitch. So I'll meet you back at the end of row 28. So now I am at the end here and I've already done my slip stitch. So I'm just going to cut my yarn off and I'm just going to pull it through. And I am going to weave in my excess yarn here. So I am going to go in this stitch and then I am going to go in the next stitch here. So that it looks uniform and then I am just going to lose the rest of the yarn. I'm just going to weave it in. You can do it any way you like. Doesn't matter. Just for it to be well secured. Just gonna weave it in any in any direction it's best for you to though to go like up and down in and around all over Okay, so I'm just going to cut here. So my tail is finished. So I'm just going to move that aside for now. And I have gone ahead and I have made one part of the tail here or the fin, whatever you want to call it. So for this, uh, I chain 30 and then for each section here going down, just to make it have this ripple look, uh, you're going to go, you're going to decrease by two. So we're going to chain 30. So we go up 30 or go down 30 and then you, 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 um, after you finish your 30 chain and you come down, then you will go up. Uh, 28 and then when you come back down uh, you will make a decrease of 2 so you're gonna go down from 28 to 26 and then from 26 to 24 from 24 to 22 and then from 22 to 20 and from 20 to 18 from 18 to 16 16 to 14 14 to 15 Sorry, 14 to 13. Am I, no, I'm not checking that correctly. So from 14 to 12, and then from 12 to 10. And that's where we're going to stop at, at this tail here. So I'm just going to start. So make your slip. Sorry, make your... um. Thing here one two three four five six
and now I am at my 30. Just going to count it back to make sure that I have my 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So you're going to begin in the third chain here. So you're going to skip this one, you're going to skip this one, and you're going to make half double crochets in all stitches. So I'll meet you at the end of making the uh, half double crochets. So now I am at my 28 half double crochets and I'm going to chain one, turn your work and we're going to be working in the back posts of the stitches. So we're going to be working in this part here. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your loop, pull through all three and continue making that to the end of this round here which we'll be making another set of 28 and I'll be back with you at the end so now I am at the end here of my 28 so I'm just gonna chain one turn my work and for this row you will decrease by two so you will only go 26. So continue making half double crochets. We're only be making half double crochets for this entire tail here. But the only thing that we will be doing throughout making this tail is that we will be decreasing by two each time and once you go down in making your 26 then you have to come back up on the same 26 and then going back down you will decrease again by another two So now I have reached my two. Uh, you have to make sure that you spin your work over so you can see the one that is hiding. So that's one and two. So you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna go back up at 26. And then when you come back down, you will be going at 24 so I'll meet you at the end of this round so now I am at the end always remember guys your last stitch will always be hiding so make sure you spin your work over so you can see your last stitch so chain one and now we will be doing another decrease when you go down on this one here so we're gonna do 24 so continue doing your half double crochets and i'll meet you at the end so now i am at the end of my 24 here and if you notice there's my two stitch and this one is hiding in the back here so yarn over Make your chain one and turn and you're going to make another set of 24. And then in the next round going down, 
you will be doing 22. So I'll see you then. So now I am at my 22 stitches. So I will chain one, turn my work, and then I will go back up as 22 more stitches. So when I'm going to start the next row, I will be doing another decrease of two where I will be decreasing to 20. And then I'll go back up at 20. And then after 20, then I will go back down as 18 and then come back up as 18. So you should be able to follow the sequence by now because you're just only decreasing by two. So you're going down until you reach 10 stitches. Once you reach 10 stitches, that's where your, your tail is com now completed. So I'm just going back up on my 22 now. So I will meet you at the end of making this tail and I will be Put in the instruction on the screen so you will be able to follow what I am doing. So guys, I have come to the end of making the next piece of my tail. So what I will do is I will join the tail like this. So how I want it to be yeah, this way. So you can see that both tail is measured same. Same. So just gonna sew it, but I'm using the hook to join it together. So let me just come out of that chain one. And I will be going in this stitch. Okay, so that's the back part. So I'm just gonna have it like that, and there it is. That's how it looks. So, what I'm gonna do now is string my needle just a good amount the end let me just click the excess here just 
So I am going to go in the extreme top. I'm going to go from here. So I'm just basically going in and out, in and out. And then I am going to sew So I'm going to go into the third row here. So one, two, three, and I'm going to start attaching. I'm just going to go from underneath. So I'm attaching it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of knot here. So it won't be loose. I'm just going to go in the same knot and I'm going to go I'm going to cut my excess off and there it is guys our mermaid tail is now completed so I am going to move on to making the bra and the 